an athlete and their body and their performance over time requires such a high level of trust. It's unlike anything else we do. Jay and I have known each other for 14 years. We've been working together, so have been building that trust. But he's also been advising me and helping me fix my body through injury, helping me attain goals. I mean, three world games now, 11 MLL seasons, four college years, and like a tail end of a summer in high school. People often want to know what it's like to be a pro lacrosse player, specifically in the type of training we go through. And I always start by saying it is literally no different than any other professional athlete, primarily because you're on your own as soon as you graduate school, needing to find a strength conditioning coach and team that can help me reach my goals. And so they may do different things and they may have access to different resources when they're in season, but out of season and in between is where you see athletes really improve. And it's about the team that you surround yourself with and your teammates that you compete with during training and how you continually evolve. Because the shit that I'm doing in there is just way different than what I was doing 10 years ago. Training for Team USA is not too different than training for the Olympics. If you're an Olympic sport athlete where you get four years, ideally leading up to those games, to be in your best shape, playing at your highest level skill-wise, leading into a tryout and the selection of that team, and then maintaining that level of play leading into the tournament. It's the highest pressure, the biggest stage, and it requires that focus on a daily basis to improve your craft and work on not only just performing athletically, but being able to maintain your body. What we did today was a combination of explosion and acceleration work times bodily maintenance. So anytime you have a week leading into a long stretch of games and tournament playing at its highest intensity, we like to really do three days of training, one day really hard and two days that combo of explosion and maintenance and that's what we did today. Uh, Jay will get me to taper back now leading into our flight so I'll get a shooting workout in with him, some more movement exercises and then nothing on Saturday, hop on a flight. And you know what you think about as an athlete is you always want to be improving. So some of the peak performers are often putting all this pressure on themselves to train every day and get better and better and better and better. But what they don't realize is that those days off allow yourself and allow your body to recoup. And so that when you come back, you actually perform greater and you can improve by a larger margin than if you're going every single day, especially going into uh, this big tournament, being able to rest assured that my training up to this point has been great. I need to take time off and that time off is not going to hurt me in way of endurance or peak fitness. So that's come through a lot of education with Jay and then a lot of trial and error, honestly. I've been injured in every region of my body. Tomorrow I have massage therapy, so really going to work out flushing out all of the built up lactic acids in my body from last week, building up to even the workouts I've just done with Jay. And I think it's symbolic too, recovering, cleansing of not only the preparation leading into the World Games this summer, but moving on from our loss in 2014's World Games definitely a part of my routine that I've added towards the back half of my career and taking the next step towards preparation for Israel. <laughs>